Now, the morning sprint. And at 6.52 now, time for our Thursday morning sprint here on Good Morning Northwest. We'll check in with our chief meteorologist, Kristen Walls, in just a moment. But first, here's a look at today's top stories. After an over seven hour long standoff in Benton City, turns out the two suspects weren't even inside the home and are still on the loose. The sheriff's office got word about a stolen car at a home near 9th Street and Sun Valley Way. When they tried to contact the suspects, identified as Jason Vargas and Javier Sanchez, they didn't respond. A standoff with the SWAT team started, but the two suspects are still on the run. One person is recovering in the hospital after being shot in Kennewick. It all happened around 8 p.m. last night on the 400 block of South Grant Street. Officers are investigating and are on the lookout for the suspected shooter. Union Gap Police are investigating an early morning homicide that took place near 3rd Avenue and Whitman Street. One man was shot and taken to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. The identity of the victim is unknown at this time. A warrant has been issued for a Sunnyside man charged with killing a 15-year-old boy in a crash last year. Yakima County Sheriff's Office say 19-year-old Jose Argesta Sosa was driving recklessly when he blew a stop sign, crashing into a car the victim was riding in, causing both vehicles to go off the road. Argueta Sosa showed up to court last month, but skipped his arraignment a few weeks ago. A man claiming to be a CIA agent led police on a chase yesterday, ending in a Kennewick backyard. Police say 72-year-old Edward Bartkowski went to a fire station and said he was investigating a case. He then sped off in a car and crashed into a backyard. No one was injured. The man is from Spokane and the car he was driving was stolen from there as well. He was sent to the hospital to be evaluated. A woman who planned an overnight hiking and camping trip in the northern Cascades is still missing. Her family feared that 28-year-old Rachel Lackaduck from Moses Lake was trapped in a cabin, unable to get out due to treacherous weather. But a search and rescue team said Tuesday she wasn't inside the cabin. Her family hasn't heard from her since last Thursday. No major injuries were reported after an aircraft crashed and landed upside down in Washington state. The accident occurred near Spanaway Wednesday morning. According to the Pierce County Sheriff's Department, two men were trapped inside the plane, but both were conscious. One of the men was taken to a local hospital to get checked out. The FAA and the NTSB are investigating the crash. The County Department of Corrections is already starting to make changes in order to stay in compliance with the law. Corrections officers had to remove their badges and patches. This is because they had Sheriff's Office on them. In addition, they covered all their jail vehicles with tape to hide the words. It's not clear what the new logo will be. And due to a clerical error, ballots that had been mailed to voters in the College Place 4 and 5 precincts were given the wrong ballot type. Correct replacement ballots are being mailed to the almost 2,000 voters in those two precincts. Those voters can also request a replacement ballot from the Walla Walla County Auditor's Office. If a voter has already returned the original ballot, it will be held pending receipt of the replacement ballot. Washington State University's College of Medicine has unveiled their new mobile health care unit. They're hoping to bring medical needs to underserved communities. The mobile unit will be providing primary care, urgent procedures, screenings, and more. Doctors inside will be med students at Wazoo performing their clinical training. It's a step to bridge the gap for those who don't have affordable access to health care. Giving you a live look right now. This is from Richland's Columbia Point. Grab that coat. It's a very cold start early this morning as we get you over to some of those numbers in where we're sitting at right now. Uh, Tri-Cities, we're down into the 30s as well, just above that freezing mark. Over into Walla Walla, we're at 41 with 35 degrees and top and in below freezing. Yakima, you're now at 31 degrees. So we'll eventually see these numbers warming up pretty nicely for today. Nothing but sunshine is expected for this Thursday. Light wind speeds as well today. It's not until the day tomorrow that we'll start to see a lot of these winds picking up. But very quiet around the Pacific Northwest early this morning. Frontal system well up to our north. This will eventually move through and give us the chance for some more changes. So here's future cast as we take you throughout uh, tomorrow afternoon. That's when our winds will pick up. Some of our wind gusts could be as high as about 40 miles per hour, but ahead of that front, possibly in the low 70s in some locations. And yes, we'll be back to the mostly sunny skies we had throughout Saturday and Sunday, although it's going to be much cooler across the area. Those high temperatures both Saturday and Sunday back into the 50s. So today's forecast, more sunshine will be a bit warmer. 66 in the Tri-Cities with 65, Walla Walla into Pendleton. Ellensburg, you're looking at that high of 63 with 64 in Yakima. 
Seven day forecast. There's going to be a lot of sunshine over the next seven days. Again, we'll go up to 71 tomorrow and then back down into the 50s this weekend. Those winds are going to be sticking with us at least through our day on Saturday. Then looking into next week, mostly sunny and still below average. Low 50s there Tuesday and Wednesday, even for Halloween. We'll see those numbers below average in the low 50s. And then that seven day forecast as well for Yakima. Mostly sunny heading into your weekend. Still a bit breezy. 56 on Saturday. We're looking at a high of 53 by Sunday. Thanks for waking up with us on Good Morning Northwest. GMA is up next. And as always, stay up to date with the latest news up on our website, yaktrynews.com. Have a wonderful day.